Hello, welcome back. Let's uh, give this another go. I think our last run was pretty horrible. Let's start with this. I really like that. Uh, first buff. Okay. And we can actually hit an elite with it. it. Means we miss this, but I think hitting an elite with one health. And then kind of potentially straight into another elite. Depending on how these question marks go, we hopefully don't have to go to this bonfire. Couple of strikes. Attain, enter wrath. Don't think we want this. Delay damage if they intend to attack and to calm. Okay. And then we have the vulnerable thing. Hmm. I think I'll go with the vulnerable. Strong blue humanoid with a golden helm approaches you with a huge smile. Hello friend, I am Cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Um... Do we want to get rid of a card at this stage? I feel like we could just get rid of one strike. I think we need to defend more so. Let's let's do this. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to have gotten spirit. We will upgrade a card. Um, I guess we're just upgrading the crush joints here. Does it tell us what it's going to look like? Yeah, it does. So it's 10 with 2 damage. 12 block might be better. Twelve block is probably safer. Whenever you gain block this turn, apply one week to all enemies. Scry two and then draw a card. That seems pretty good. Eight mark, all enemies lose HP equal to their mark. I think we're gonna go through cut through bait. Oh no, this hits our um, battle. The elite's not gonna have one health now. That's a shame. That's potentially nine damage and nine block. This is just 12 block. With retain though, that's pretty good. I did like the wall up there. Uh, at least we've got this elite, I suppose, but now we might have to rest at the bonfire, which is a shame. These guys. Okay. So we could do this, this, and then we could go to the cross joints. And then I think we might go Miracle for this. Although I'm pretty sure actually these guys, like they got rid of the negative effect. We didn't actually get the um, vulnerable on them. Okay, the scry is gonna help with this. Hopefully anyway.
take the 12 block. We don't want to do this because we want to draw this next turn. So I think we just damage this one. Lose a little bit of health here. Okay, so we can just do this. And to calm. I mean, we have to chuck that on. This stays here, which is quite good. Especially because next turn these two are going to be attacking. Okay. So we could use the potion here, try and kill this. We do these two. And they're gonna take 50% more damage, this is probably worth it. Uh, I guess we could do this here. Yeah, the power ones aren't really attack cards, okay. We'll do this, it helps our our block go pretty well. We only lose two or one. So I'm pretty sure this vulnerable is gone now. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um we don't want to do the eruption. We didn't even really need to do that. But sure. Yeah, this is nice. And discard that. Um Do we want to discard this as well? Probably not. We draw it anyway, yeah. We can kill this guy and then we have enough block because of this. Now dealing with two of them is a lot easier. Okay, this is quite good. So we could do this here. Okay, so it's just the artifact that negates one debuff. That makes sense. Okay. Finding that like water is really helping. Which means we probably won't have to go to the bonfire. Yeah, we just do this. Keep damaging. It's a good turn to get three dazed because we had the 12 block. enough we don't want to do this that's a shame having to use the retain straight away instead of just having a normal defense card. But at least we drew some block. Yeah, like here. We'll have to do this. Um, we can keep that, because we draw the... Oh, it's in the other order. I thought we would have been drawing the block here. So we're going to lose 4 more health.
We've got no attack cards left, so we don't really want to do this. We only want to change stances if we can kill them that turn, because we're getting the 5 blocker turn, and that's kind of keeping our health up. Okay, this is quite good. Oh, that's negated. Yeah, sure. At least we did some good damage. So we could do 7, 13, I think we killed them here. Nice. Upon pickup, upgrade 2 random skills. Okay, that's kind of nice. Block potion is good too. Enter divinity, die next turn. Interesting. I think that's probably our card. Like, Bowling Bash is okay in a battle like that. This isn't great for us. Gain 3 energy and attacks deal triple damage. I think we do this. And I think we're probably strong enough to go to... This elite. I guess if it goes badly in this part, we have a bonfire here anyway. Where's that bowling ball? Okay. We can hold the protect. We just defend. So like here, we have triple damage, right? So we just kill everything. This is 18. This is 27 and 21, which is enough. So let's do this. We get 3 energy, 18 here, 21 here, that doesn't matter, and then 27 here. Okay, nice. Retain, enter wrath, interesting. So we do have a few go into calm cards, right? Or do we only have one? One. Yeah, the other one's just block. Mm, we only have one, and we have another wrath card. I don't think we want that. I think we'll do sash whip. And I think we're strong enough to go for this elite too. Okay, so we want to play a skill, so I guess we're playing Miracle, and then we can play the combos, they work pretty well here. Maybe we even want to play this. There's a pretty high chance that next turn we draw this. So let's go skill, although we kind of want to be in wrath, don't we? If we're gonna do it. Yep, 
Yeah, so I think we're gonna go Wrath, Sash Whip, and then probably cut through the Fates. Cut through Fate, so we can try and draw this next turn. Okay, nice, we're guaranteed to draw it. Do we want this? Probably not. Oh, actually no, we're drawing this now. Okay, so we, yeah, confirm. Nice. Okay. So we're taking double damage. So really this is going to be 18. So 12 plus 8 is probably enough. It means we lose like 6 attack here. But I think this is probably the best way to do it. We can retain this as well. We could have used the potion and done some more damage there. I'm not sure if we want to do that. Okay, we have to do this again. Powerful negative effect, okay. Die next turn? Does that mean when we start our next turn? Probably does. We need to like use it this turn and kill them. Hmm, it's a shame. Triple damage isn't enough, right? No, we're not doing 80. That's only doing 27 and 18. We really want this. Next turn, we can only really do this here. There's nothing that's gonna get us into calm, so we can't do this eruption. Less block. And attacks go down as well. This is quite good. And then we can gain 11 blocks as well. So we only lose 2. We could do some more damage, but it's only 7. I think we'll just do that. I think we have to have this potion here and add that on and then we'll just do a bit of damage mm, not a great turn to draw this with no Attacks. I guess we do this. Uh, if we confirm, we draw the strike and then we can play it. Keep that. I mean, sure. Hmm. I think we're just gaining 16 block here. This is getting a little tough. We really need to draw our Blasphemy with the hand of attack cards. So here again, I think we're just gaining the block, taking a bit of damage.
Okay, we can put some vulnerable on so this attack does a bit better, right? Yeah. And it should be the blasphemy, but we've only got one attack. Oh no, there's two there, and we might draw another one. Okay. So if we did this, 9, 18, ah, oh, that's only 33, isn't it? That's such a shame. and 15, 33. And this is only applying weak, and then we die. So I think we just block what we can, and just do the most damage. I mean, next time that happens, we we can kill them, hopefully, but the more they debuff us, the harder it gets. So six, but then we can only do one attack, so it'd only be ten. It's not enough. So we'll block what we can, and then do five damage. Put some useless vulnerability on. Uh, hand of block cards when we have the attack turn. I mean, this doesn't matter, but that's a shame. Okay, so now if we can get Blasphemy in attack, it should be over. We do need the Blasphemy, though, because we're so weak. Hmm. Okay, so 6, 12, and 9. Yep, okay. Just got there in the end. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty nice. And it actually buffs our health, right? We're on 35, I think. Uh, three block for free. Four block and two mantra for free is probably better. We need to go towards a bonfire, but this doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess we can go this way now. Yeah, this gets us three bonfires instead of two. I think we take the key, right? We want the... We want to finish the run properly. That's the goal, anyway. Chain the ruby key. I think we might rest for now. And then next one we can go the ruby key. Does it matter what we do here? We'd have bonfire, question mark, battle. Bonfire, battle. We could go two battles instead of a question mark. We'll decide after this, see how this goes. That's a lot of guys. Okay. Alright, they're doing 22. It's not great. Although, could we kill one of these guys? Yeah, we can pretty easily. Let's kill one of the higher attack guys. And then we still need this block. It's exactly enough. Depending on what this guy does. Charging, that's concerning. Ah, vulnerable with no more attack cards, feels good. This guy is putting negative statuses on us too. 
let's try and deal with him. Um, and then we'll just gain 12 block. Or we can gain 13. Yeah, 13 is better. Still got this. We don't have a real reason to be in calm. This is scary. Holy crap, okay. Is this gonna work for us? So this will do... 18. Ah, that's not gonna work right. Because these will kill these two. So we'll do this. I guess if we cut through the fate, we could draw another attack card. The thing is, if we don't, we die. Literally die. And actually dying feels pretty bad here. I think we just block as much as we can. It's a shame we can't kill this guy. It would have been a defense card anyway. We lose a lot of health for this though. So we can go dead. We can weaken this guy, who's only doing six. Okay, we keep this block for this. Do that and then move on. We'll go calm. So if we want to go into wrath or whatever, we have a uh, extra two energy. He's still unknown. Okay, we can do this now. That one hit costs a lot of health though. Whenever you scry, gain three block. Not great. Your next attack deals additional 5 damage. Can only be played if this is the only attack in your hand. Deal 30 damage. I mean, that's pretty good. We have a lot of block. Um, I think we want to heal here. Just because we took a lot of damage there. And then hopefully we don't take any more damage and we can um, get the key. You find yourself in a room filled with racks of test tubes, beakers, flasks, forceps, pinch clamps, stirring rods, tongs, goggles, funnels, pipettes, cylinders, uh, condensers, and even a rare spiral tube of glass. Why do you know the name of all these tools? It doesn't matter. You take a look around. Okay, we'll find some potions. 20 damage. Let's go. Uh, I think we'll do the berry in a bottle. Hold on. Oh, we were able to take all of those. Ah, oh, that never happens. Okay. Look too fast. That hurts. Both of those potions would have been really nice to have. Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay. Okay, we want to play a skill for the vulnerability, so I think we're just doing this. So we can put the vulnerability on. I mean, we can also put the weak on, but he just dies anyway. Sure. Um, 
Um, we'll go into Calm, and we'll do the block. We just want to not die, not lose any health, really. With only one guy left, it's fine. This just does it right. Yeah. Get the power potion at least. Another one of these? Probably. Okay, we can grab the other key here. Maybe it was worth upgrading into the final boss, or not final boss, but the boss fight. No, oh, we can't use this. Skill. I mean, putting one vulnerable on actually helps here, but we could do it through this, right? One, two, three, keep the miracle. Putting one weak on doesn't do a lot, but we got more damage out of that. Oh, the slimes. The slimes! Nice. Hmm. So if we go into Wrath, we can't get back into Calm without, like, we wouldn't be able to attack and then get back into Calm. So I think we just go into Calm and do the 6 damage. It's concerning. It's very, very concerning. Having both of these in one hand actually is absolutely terrible. Okay, so we just gotta get as much block as we can. We're only losing 10. Drawing both of them is so bad. Damn, we're close to being able to use that too. Can't afford it. Get slimed. Will we draw this again? Pretty good chance to with this. So we could go eruption into scry do a bit more damage oh and we get the energy so we can also do this maybe we're going to draw an attack card so we do this first then this oh skill yeah, it doesn't really matter we still want to draw an attack card though right We're not going to be able to use that. Um, we also really want to make sure that we draw our change back into um, Calm. So we are going to get rid of this, draw this because it's Retain. So we don't lose this. Do that damage and let's get rid of one of those. Come on, calm. Thank God. I just have to do this. Still lose a lot here. We are hopefully going to be able to get to Divinity naturally. 16, so that's exactly enough. That's really nice. Can't play 
this again. Okay. Oh, we just do the damage that we can. Oh, great. We maybe want to use that potion. Jesus. Are we going to be able to do this actually? So this would do 18, and this would do 15. It's not enough to kill this, because this would kill this. We could draw another attack card, although it's pretty unlikely. We would have six energy. We would have to play this last though. Let's have this, see if there's anything that's going to help our block. Yes. pretty bad. It's only two energy. I think we do this. And then we just get as much block as we can. It's not a lot though. We're gonna get five more. Mm, that was pretty close. Our next hand's pretty terrible too. Okay, we found this, which is good. And then we can get rid of two slimes. Jeez, that frail is very bad. Still can't use this. We haven't been able to use a single one of these. Okay, we can use one now. We're not going to kill one, but... It's kind of what we have to do anyway. This thing's going to split. So at least it stops this thing attacking. This is not going to be enough right now. We can kill one of these, which is good. Yes, we will discard those. That's not a bad card to draw. So we only do 10 damage here, but at least it's almost dead, we can get rid of this. Oh, we really didn't find a way to kill this. So we're going to get 5 block, we get 3, and I think we just do the 9. Take no more damage. We just got to get through this fight and we go back to full health. Jesus. Something about getting through this fight. Uh. No block, so we're going to take 6 damage here.
But we've only got this guy left now, we can start working on. Okay, and our week's gone, that's very good. So now, this is enough. Um, I think we'll keep that. And I think we'll just do damage. Nice. Okay, this should be enough now, right? Yeah. Oop, we should do it like this. Not that it's going to matter. We got there in the end. Okay, it's at the start of your next turn. So yeah, it does work how I thought it would work. Ooh. Take an extra turn after this one. So we can play our cards, then play this, and it ends our turn and we start a new one. I mean, three energy, that doesn't feel good. We could try this, I don't really know what they are. Double the effect of the potions. Whenever you exit calm, gain additional energy. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You cannot play more than six cards. We could try the Velvet Choker. Six is a lot. I don't love the other ones. This one's not a lot. This one... I mean, it's not bad, but it's not that exciting. Let's go for that. 